Hi, I'm Jerry Drager, Drager's International Classic Sales in Seattle, Washington. Now, we used to be a Harley-Davidson dealer way back. My dad started in 1934 in Aberdeen, Washington as a Harley dealer there. We have one of the oldest dealers, continuous dealers license in the uh, state of Washington. I mean, we've been in business since 1934 and we're still going. And we've done a lot of motorcycles and I, there's an old 28 Harley there and there's a 37 Harley right there. And there's a 59 Harley over here you can't see. But what I really want to show you is this neat motorcycle. I just got this in. This is what, how they built the motorcycles in 1950s. They, they called them squirrel bikes, they called them bobbers. And of course the fenders are, you know, bobbed and that's like that in uh, here. And this is neat, these fenders came off the uh, spare tire covers on the back of a 36 Ford. So that, it's still got the little deal on here and you got the rib on the fender, but they were shortened up. They were still pretty stock. There was no high handlebars on them or any of that sort of stuff. They used usually the stock front end. They were pretty much just like this. But this motorcycle is really neat. It's a 1942, and it's like brand new. Everything, there's just hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of new parts in it. It's stroked. It's got a stroker in it, so it's just about 55 cubic inches now. And uh, you got, everything's been done on it, new. The speedometer, you had it rebuilt. I mean, it looks incredible. This needs to be in an office building or in somebody's home in their living room or in a rec room. I mean, God, it's so pretty. Would you really want to ride it? Look at the stock original exhaust system. It's set up with a mag. It's got a locking uh, key right there on the mag. And you can retard it by hand if you want to retard it and change the spark. It also has a generator on it, and it's 12 volt. It's electronic ignition underneath this cover. It's not a relay. There is no battery. So uh, this thing runs the lights really well. You don't have to worry about a battery on it. Believe it or not, this is something they didn't have in the 50s. It's got a belt drive on the primary and it just works slick, keeps it nice and quiet. I can't see this happening, but this motorcycle has another feature on it. It has a th three-speed transmission with a reverse. Now the reason for the reverse in the, uh, in the 45s was for a Serbi car, that's the three-wheel rig. And the reason it, this one's got a reverse in it in case they ever put a sidecar on it. Well, uh, I just, I can't imagine putting a sidecar on here, but it is set up with it, so it does have the reverse gear in the transmission. Just so you know it runs. I've had it running already, so I, I'm cheating a little bit, but this will just show you that it runs. back down. Kill button is right here. Runs good. It's got forged pistons in it, so that's why you hear it a little noisier than, uh, than if it had just solid pistons in it. Sometimes this happens.
and got to see it go in reverse. I only took it a little ways. And you can own this beautiful little motorcycle. Give us a call, 206-533-9600. You won't be unhappy.